Welcome to episode 902, Andre Babis, second richest Czech billionaire and prime minister of Czech Republic. This is an outline of episode 902. His nickname is the Czech Donald Trump. He's a populist politician. Put his own nation's interests above all others. Check first, all others a distant second. Like Trump, he has a beautiful young wife. He is also against immigration. Employed in the private sector to clean up the notoriously corrupt Czech political system. Media has labeled you the Czech Donald Trump. Do you like this comparison or does it bother you? Don't read the fake news. There are a lot of lies in which are, which are published by some special journalists in Czech Republic. I don't like it because uh, we have uh, one thing in common, that we marry the Czech wife. Ivana Trump is from Czechoslovakia. He was born in Bratislava, Slovakia in 1954. His father is a communist and a diplomat of GET. GET stands for General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. Because of his father, he studied at Paris and Geneva. He graduated with a master's degree in international trade from the University of Economics, Bratislava. After that, he worked six years as a sales representative for Petrimax in Morocco. Then came the Velvet Revolution in Czechoslovakia in 1989. It makes how he got very rich very fast. Secret, he was an oligarch. Slovakia after the Velvet Revolution and resided in the Czech Republic after the dissolution of Czechoslovakia. He became managing director of Agrofit in 1993 and gradually developed it into one of the largest companies in the country. Agrofit had been a subsidiary of Petrimex while Baba was on the board. During his time on the board, Agrofit was quietly recapitalized by an obscure Swiss entity, OFI, which took control of Agrofit from Petrimex. Petrimex later fired Babas and sued him, unsuccessfully, for allowing the Agrofit. In January 1993 Babas became managing director of newly established Petrimex's subsidiary Agrofit. He the company started as a wholesale and trading firm, but acquired various agricultural, food processing and chemical companies later. In 2011 Agrofit Holding consists of more than 230 companies mainly in Czech Republic, Slovakia and Germany. It is the fourth largest company in the Czech Republic by revenue with revenue exceeding 117 billion Czech Karunas. When in 2011, at the age of 53, he founded his own political party, ANO. Election success for a billionaire businessman with an anti-establishment message. Me, uh, with my um, start in politics, uh, the Czech state is going very well and my company is going down. So you have been trying to form a government for a while now. Do you Three months before the election, he married his girlfriend of 20 years. Her name is Monica. Babis has two children with his first wife and two children with his second wife. Government, because we are minority government, so the all ministers are nominated by me. I'm working 18 hours a day. I'm working Saturday Sundays. I'm working much more than for my company. But the problem is, of course, the state is not the company. You are... Tens of thousands of people have gathered in the Czech Republic's capital Prague to demand the resignation of Prime Minister Andrej Babiš. Opponents of Babiš accuse the populist leader of profiting from his office and conflicts of interest. He's one of the Czech Republic's richest men. The protests coincide with events commemorating the start of the 1989 Velvet Revolution that toppled the communist regime in what was then Czechoslovakia. 
Organizers say they want the Czech Republic to rediscover the pro-democracy ideals that fuel the protests 30 years ago. In terms of wealth, Peter Keller is the richest self-made billionaire in Czech, and he is four times richer than Babis. Please watch episode 512 of this channel. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Andre Babis' 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.